Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to create our environment to write Move smart contracts. First of all, we are going to use an online ID for this tutorial because it's more convenient to work with online ID. Since you don't have to figure out your own local environment, it's going to give us an easy way to develop our smart contracts. But in this course, we will also find how to set up your local environment. You can choose whatever method you like, but I would recommend going with online environment since it's easier in the beginning and you don't focus on setting up your environment, but instead you can focus on writing code and understand it better. First of all, we are going to use a wallet called well done. Now I'm going to say well done extension. And I'm going to add this extension. You can find well done extension on a Google Chrome or any Chromium based web browser. I'm going to say create a new wallet. Let's give it a password. Here we are going to copy our mnemonic. This will be our password and we will be using this to get into wallet and if you need to open up this same wallet in another browser you are going to use this mnemonic now as you can see we have a couple of options here we will be choosing aptos i'm going to say add account it's going to ask for the password let's give this a name i'm going to say aptos let's say aptos course now as you can see i'm in the wallet and i have the aptos mainnet here at top I'm going to change this to devnet and I will go to the faucet and I will request tokens from the faucet. Now if I check as you can see I have one aptos. If you want to use testnet you can go to the testnet, go to faucet and request faucet. So we are going to have separate amount of tokens for each network including mainnet, testnet and devnet. Now, if you go here, as you can see, we have one aptos. Now, I'm going to close this and I will type Remix ID. And I will open up the Remix ID. Now, this is what you are going to see once you enter Remix ID. I'm going to close this home tab. Remix ID is actually created for Ethereum, but using the well done extension, we will be able to write smart contracts in Move language. Now, I will go to the plugin manager. And I will look for well done. And as you can see, we have code by well done studio. I'm going to activate it. Now we have this code by well done studio tab. Once you get in, it's going to ask for network. I'm going to choose move. Now it's going to ask for me to connect to well done. At this point, if you haven't just pinned the extension, go there and fill the well done wallet extension. Now I'm going to say connect to well done. And then I'm going to put in my password. Now I'm connected to the devnet. Let me close this. Now, as you can see, this is my account. And this is the balance that I have. And here we can create a new project by giving the project name and then saying create. Also, we can utilize the already created templates for us. If you want to create a template, just pick a template and say create. Or if you want to create a new project, you can give it a name and create the project. Let's call this project modules. Let's go with the lowercase and say create. Now it's creating us the project under Aptos. As you can see, I have modules here. It creates a source folder and move the total file and this is how we can utilize well done wallet again what you are going to do is you are going to install the extension then you are going to go into the remix id without any authentication you are ready to use well done wallet don't forget to add this well done extension by plugin manager then you will go with this button which will create you this side panel to create a new project again we said modules create and if you want to create from a template, we are going to say create and it's going to create us the hello blockchain template. If it was successful, as you can see here, we have the hello blockchain. We have the move.toml file 
and our test code and our contract code. This is it for this video. Thank you very much. In the next video, we are going to learn about the packages and modules.